Hello again, everybody. Welcome to a new edition of the Wine Review. I'm Ryan, the Wine Guy, doing a Spanish wine, a red Spanish wine from the Roja region. It is Campo Viejo and it is their Tempranillo 2014. This is what the bottle looks like. Uh, they make quite a few and they almost all look similar so this one is going to be the yellow label wine in the glass nice coloring let's uh, read a little bit about it it is imported by Pernod Ricard, USA, out of Purchase, New York. It is 13% alcohol by volume. Since our pioneering founder, Jose Artiglia, decision to found Campo Viejo in the heart of Rioja, we continue to create expressive and characterful wine to celebrate the richness of the region. Grapes. Tempranillo. Tasting. Aromas of ripe red fruit with spices and vanilla. Perfumes soft and finish. Food pairing. Pasta, poultry, and fresh light cheeses, grilled chicken, small bites such as light cheese and grilled vegetables I just do all want to let you all know this is one I have had before it's been a while so it's still uh, I'm treating it like a new wine because it's been a while that I have had it um, but because it's um, usually good price you can find this one for on sale maybe $9.99 um, just at a regular price, maybe eleven ninety nine or twelve ninety nine, depending on where you are. So, but still, overall, I think um, it's well worth it. Uh, we'll start off as always the sniffing notes, kind of bring out the palate. There's a definitely some good oak on there. You definitely get this nice sort of vanilla sensation on the nose. You've got some nice like peppery uh, spices on there as well. You got some good cherry on there. I'm even getting a slight hit of plum. And some blackberries. So a good sort of fruit um, kick in there along with the vanilla oak and the spices on the palate. So the palate is kind of... You're hit with this semi-fruit bomb. It's not like an overpowering fruit bomb. It's not like a really tart, but sort of like a really nice, juicy uh, fruit on there. Some good cherry on that. Uh, blackberry, plum. I would even say there's maybe even a slight hint of raisin. Uh, just a slight hint of raisin on that. There's a nice oak to it uh, that you get from that nose. So you do get that nice vanilla hint on there. You get the laid spices. Um, 
It is more on the drier side, though. So, uh, it's not a very highly acidic wine. doesn't really leave you mouth-watering. So, it does leave you a little dry. Um, but definitely a nice um, table red wine. A nice dinner wine. Um, I would even say this is okay by itself, too. Uh, this is definitely a good one by itself or with some light snacks. It's uh, it's pretty simple though. Um, there's no harsh flavors in there. So people who are new to wine, this could definitely be something that I would recommend you could start off with. Um, although keeping in mind the fact that it is very dry. Um, the flavors do tend to sort of dissipate rather quickly, but not as quickly as some other ones. They're still sort of lingering um, aftertaste of sort of the pepperness on it. So it is, by my standards, um, easily a four out of five. It's, um, I mean, it's good. It, it's, it's enjoyable. Um, trying to get any last hints in here. I, I just, w one reason why this does get, um, a, a, um, that four is I, I just do like that hints of, um, the vanilla oak on it. I'd even say there's a light little smoke on there, probably from that um, spice as well from the um, aged oak, but not like a really robust smoke to like some other um, bold wines. Just a light little bit of maybe leather on there, but nothing. Yeah, not nothing too overpowering. Um, I'll do the taste one last time. Yeah, still, still easily can get hit with a semi fruit bomb. Like I said, not like pow, but you definitely get those fruits in that um, vanilla oak on that, which definitely leads way to the uh, spice right after that. So those are reasons why it gets a four out of five. Um, again, I I have tried this before, so. Um, and before that, I also rated it 4 out of 5 on my wine account. I'll show you all the bottle one more time. Because this is their Tempranillo. A couple of the other ones they make. They make a Reserve, which is the Orange Face. And then there's a new one that I've seen. It's kind of like a blackish brown with sort of little, I don't know, the old, the old, the old style that they used to do. It's, not, it's like a protective cover, but it's really not. It's like a bunch of string. Uh, if I can find that, I may review that for you all here coming up. But this is the um, actually one thing I do want to notice is they they actually put their um, their coordinates on here. Um, north by forty two twenty eight forty eight. And west by uh, two twenty nine eight, so that's that's pretty interesting. Um, but that's Campo Viejo, out of the uh, Roja region of Espanza, Spain. And it's um it's actually produced and bottled by Bodegas Campo Viejo, so uh, the actual name is Bodegas Campo Viejo because. Um, Bodegas does make, uh, if I'm correct, it's, um, Bodegas I think is, actually you know what, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything because I'm not sure. Because there, there's a lot of Bodegas out there and I'm just never sure if they're the same or they just have different, um, going under different names. But it's their, uh, wine from Spain. Um, as you all know, I do like to do many different wines of the world 
Uh, I have done few in California, but I, right now I'm leaning towards the Spain and Argentina wines, um, especially now starting to get into French and Italian, and um, Australia as well. Um, coming up, I'll just give you a little synopsis about what you'll be seeing me review uh, for the next most of the month of November. I've got a California Pinot Noir. I've got a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc coming up. I've got three Australian wines. Uh, one red, one actually no, two two reds, two mixed, and one... Um, Actually, man, yeah, make that all three of them are mixed reds. I've got an Italian wine. I've got a South African wine that I really like. And I've got a California Cabernet. And I've got another Spanish wine and a French wine. So things are definitely looking really good for the next month. I'm really excited. So until whenever I do another review, it's been nice uh, discussing this with you all. As well, feel free to comment if you've tried this wine, or if you haven't tried it yet, try it, and then comment, and we'll get the discussion rolling from there. Well, as always, it's been a pleasure. I'm Ryan the Wine Guy. Cheers.